All right, we're here at the TBN Studios. We got Jeremy, we got Duke. They're doing the sound check right now. And uh, basically, uh, tell me how you feel about uh, the, the song that we're doing. Give us a little history about it. Well, I love the song. I thought it turned out pretty cool. Yeah, it is. Uh, but the song is actually like 10 years old. That the chorus in that bridge, I actually wrote that in Bible school uh, at a master's commission in Oklahoma City where I was in prayer one morning and I just started singing, God, all I want is you, I need you, God. Uh, worship is the foundation of relationship with him. And so, so I just poured my heart out and then those words just began to just, just come out, yeah. just begin to flow. Yeah. And then I just started praying, God, you're the greatest thing that's ever happened to me. I got saved in worship, so God, the only the the only thing I can do is worship you. Yeah. So God, you're the greatest thing that ever happened to me. And, and so those words just begin to flow and it just came out. Yeah, man, that's, it's a great song. I, I love that you invited me to be on the song. Uh, the church loves the song. And, and, and you got a whole lot of songs <laughs> that you got in your library that's hidden. Yeah, dude. And uh, man, I, I, I'll be happy when you plan on coming out with that album and, and letting the world see what you got. Uh, so what's, what's the future like for you? Well, First, you know, the first thing is priorities. You know, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a youth pastor, but yeah. I'm also a worshiper. Yeah. And God has entrusted me with lyrics and with, with the ability and the gifts yeah. and talents of music. Yeah. And so my only response is to give it back to Him. Exactly. And, and so I have, I'm sitting on all this stuff, and it's almost like bad stewardship in a way because I have all these songs and I'm not doing anything with them. So after just talking with you lately, it just put a kind of sparked more of a passion in me to, hey, you know, maybe I need to to get these songs together collectively and, and produce an album. <laughs> you, you youth pastor. So tell us a little bit about what you got going on with the youth. And, oh, and, and, man. And the name of the, the youth program. Okay, well, so one, two. with youth, uh, the name of the youth group is Awakening Youth. And which, Test one, two. Uh, Shout out to Awakening Youth. Awakening Youth. Oh, and man, that's just, that's my heart is an awakening. I, I just feel there's something special happening here in Indy and I just see the spirit moving and that's where the name came from is just an awakening in our hearts and our spirits and our minds for the things of God yeah because he's knocking yeah you know and John talks about now is the time for the true worshipers to come worship God in spirit and truth for those are the ones that he seeks and looks for and that's what that's our goal is just is to reach the city of Indy man and get and put it a spark this awakening yeah in the students here in Indy and that's just our heart man I mean the youth is growing and it's doing some great stuff. I got a great leadership team and I'm, I'm proud and I'm excited to see what's going to happen. Yeah, man, that's awesome. That's awesome. And we also got uh, God's poet, Deuce Mason. Duke, man, what's going on, man? Tell us a little bit about what's happening with you. Well, what's happening with me right now is I got to give a lot of honor to God because I've been through a whole lot in this class. Um, and I know that God wasn't. If I wasn't with God, believing in His Word, then I probably would have fallen off. Because I've been in a, a treacherous situation in you know? so many ways. Yeah, but just depending on God, leaning on God, praying, fasting, you know, trusting in His Word, you know, I make mean, the all this stuff. I mean, it's a storm. Exactly, exactly. And uh, I know that you got a production studio, and uh, you got a lot of things going. You're working on some new uh, music material. Uh, uh, tell us about some of the artists that you've been working with. I know you know up and coming artists that, that really don't have an outlet, and you provide a studio for them and, and, and at a reasonable price and, and help them out. So, uh, so who are some of the artists that you've been working with? Well, I've worked with uh, people like uh, Young Lady Ashley, uh, LJ, uh, Buddy of Mine. He's in Awakening Youth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, G Swag, you know, yeah. of course, me and you didn't got it in there. Yeah. 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 I've worked with a lot of uh, up and but my thing is to be able to give, right provide them a place where they can come, yeah. feel comfortable, and grow in their ministry, you know, well, performing, you know, and recording. Yeah. So I'm just uh, grateful that I have a place in a position that they can come to and do things. Man, that's, that's an awesome thing. So, both of y'all, y'all gonna be performing with me later on, mentioning in the song, and uh, uh, we'll get to hear the song that you wrote, and we'll get to hear the song that, that me and you did together, and and y'all stay tuned, because these are uh, some great men of God right here. Uh, God is really using them in Indianapolis, 
and I'm honored to have worked with both of them, and uh, God's got some great things planned for them in the future, and, and you'll be hearing a lot more from these guys, and, and y'all just stay blessed, and, and we'll be at you here in a minute. 